Hey guys, welcome to Precision Machine Shed. Today I got just a little tidbit for you. Some of you have probably seen it, some of you may know about it, some of you may not. A lot of times when you're working on the lathe, you end up using a steady rest. A lot of these older lathes, uh, and, and if they haven't been converted, usually have just follower fingers, uh, whatever you want to call them, but all they are is either brass, in this case a brass rod, or a lot of them are just sliding steel uh, fingers or jaws and they ride directly on the surface of the material that you're working with um, and then you put a little oil in there and you have your steady rest. Uh, a lot of newer modern steady rests and even a lot of guys that have taken these and modified them to use roller bearings which also works great but I have an original steady rest here that's basically brand new for my heavy 10 and I don't really want to modify my jaws I could make a new set but other projects take precedence therefore here's a little trick to help you from marring your surface finish on your work like I said usually when you do this clamp it down tighten them down and put some oil in here oil of your choosing oil it up and you're good to go However, in this case, we're going to do something different. The easiest way to do this that I've found is if you have a small piece of emery cloth. In this case, I believe this is 320. It doesn't matter. You can use 240 and probably even something maybe a little coarser. We have our piece set up here between a clamped and a three jaw. So what you're going to do is take the outside of the emery cloth and put that against the jaws and wrap it around a little longer than what you're going to need tear off a hunk and then we can tighten down all of our actually what we're going to do first put a little bit of our oil of choosing on the back side of the paper here and then clamp our move our fingers in there's two back ones we're going to lock those down and then I'm going to pull this so, so it's not wrapped upon e itself. So I got a flap here and a flap here and those are going to be sticking out here. You'll see it in a second. And then bring our top one down. Lock that guy in place. Like, just like you'd set up your steady rest normally. This is nothing new. Get our tension there. And there. So now our paper is just sitting out in the open here. And so this is this emery cloth will stay against the fingers and it won't spin. So what I'm going to do is just come in here with some more oil. Like you would normally with your steady rest. Give it a quick spin. Make sure everything's oiled on it. And then crank it up. And there we go. So I can pull this out if I want my, and then we have a nice bearing surface for our non roller bearing fingers on our steady rest and then it won't mar the finish. It'll still put like a little burnish on there you could say, but as long as uh, you know nothing gets, and this will keep from stuff from getting in there as easily too, uh, and it'll just keep from potentially gouging the material or getting some more serious gouges in there that you may not want. So there's just another shot of it. And then you can easily get in here. See I'm a little I loosened up a little bit there. There we go. Put your oil of choice in there. You just want to make sure that that paper doesn't fold in on itself but just leave it just like that or you can pinch this one even up closer either way so then when we go to take this off You can see that my finish there is in much better shape. It's per pretty much untouched. I had a few little uh, marks in there from, I didn't uh, get it polished all the way down, but 
it leaves a nice easy clean uh, surface on your part so you don't have to worry about going back there and refinishing that section of your workpiece. Hope that helped you guys out. Maybe it's a tip you may have known or not known. Either way, take that little tidbit of information with you and use it as you may. I'd like to thank all my Patreon subscribers. I got a series on rebarreling the 1917 Enfield coming up soon. I already started with one of the videos and I got several more coming here in the next couple weeks. So until next time, stay safe on your machines and shoot safe. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. The thread's on nice and snug. It doesn't move. I'll have to double check my... There we go. So I got a tiny little gap there, but I'm gonna have to come there and clean it up. But there we go, there's the receiver threaded on there.